Hi, welcome to Pyrex Screencast. In this screencast I'll show you how to use this open bubble widget here. Let's go to PubChem and here I've searched for HIV protease and it brought me back this list of structures. Click on this icon here, set the compression type to none and click download. This will generate the SDF file and I'll be able to save this as SDF file in a moment. Let's go back to Pyrex and click on this first icon here. Navigate to your downloads folder and open this SDF file. Pyrex populates this table here with the title, formula, molecular weight and number of atoms. Click on any of the rows and Pyrex shows you the corresponding structures here. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate these structures. Right click on any of the rows and choose minimize selected. This opens up this widget here which is basically a graphical user interface for Open Bubble Energy Minimizer. Click OK to start minimizing the structure. You would see here the atomic coordinate changing as it's minimizing the structure. This would also show you the energy of the structures as it goes. The minimization process will be finished in a moment and I'll show you how you can convert this en energy minimized structure into PDBQT. Right click on this structure and select convert selected to autodoc ligand. Go into this Autodoc tab under ligands. If you don't see this molecule, right click and click refresh. This would show the molecule here. You can right click on it and select edit. It opens up the structure here. You can view the structure and the charges and all the parameters here. When when Pyrex converts the open bubble ligand into PDBQT there are a couple of parameters that you can choose for instance if I go to edit preferences under open bubble I can select the ligand and here I have two ways of computing partial charges one is the default using MGL tools the other one is using open bubble if I select here the open bubble and go back here and convert this structure into PDBQT uh, QT again. This will create another structure here and add the uh, underscore OBQ here to indicate that this is these are computed with the open bubble. You can also convert a bunch of structures to PDBQT here by using this option here convert all to autodoc ligand and it will open up this progress dialog and it would show the structures com converting into PDBQT and it would populate this ligands folder with uh, corresponding PDBQT files. This concludes this part of the Pyrex screencast. Thank you for watching. Bye.